Hey guys, welcome back to program and today in this episode we're gonna review Visual Studio Code for Apple Silicon. So some of you have actually demanded for this video and have asked us like whether Visual Studio Code is usable into the new MacBook Pros and the MacBook Air with the M1 or M1 Pro processor. So guys, definitely the Visual Studio Code is now available for use into the, any of the Apple Silicon processors. So if you're trying to use it onto any of the devices that comes up with an Apple Silicon processor, so you can use it directly. I would like to show you how you can use it. Getting onto the Visual Studio Code website, we can get here onto download Mac Universal or if you want, you can also choose. So just click here, other downloads. So if you come down here onto this, you can see that Mac, it's available for Mac OS and there's a universal version, Intel chip and Apple Silicon. So the universal version actually contains these codes for both of the machines. That is either you can use it onto an Intel chip or either you can use it onto Apple Silicon. But if you want a specific version for Apple Silicon, you should be choosing this Apple Silicon. We'll be downloading next right now. So let's download it. Okay. Allow. So it's getting downloaded. So now it's downloaded completely. So if you want to install this, the installation is also really easy. All you need to do is come down to this file, click over here and move it to the application section. So now if we get into the launcher, we can see that we have Visual Studio Code. Let's click here, open and we have got it set. So next section, next section and mark it's done. So now we are all ready to go with the Visual Studio Code. And if you get into the activity monitor just to have a look, which version are we running? So here we are. Let's search for VS Visual Studio Code. Yeah, here we are. So you can see that we have got Visual Studio Code for Apple. So it's specifically made for the Apple Silicon. There is absolutely no issues into it. We have tried to test along with multiple extensions. Either. So all the extensions work really well onto the Visual Studio Core. So guys, this was a quick review about the topic. And if you've got any more questions, any more doubts, so please leave that into comment section down below. We'll be happy to reply that. And if you liked our video, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. Meet you in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.